Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for uh, Pisces. This is going to be for your March 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Uh, we are going to take a look and see what's next for you guys in love. And then we'll finish off the race to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situations. Uh, you may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, this could be with new love, current love, old love. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Um, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So tell me about Pisces. What's next for Pisces in love? What's next for Pisces in love? We have the Six of Pentacles here. With the Nine of Pentacles here, right now, Pisces, to be quite honest here, I feel like you're just pouring energies into yourself. Focus on you. Focus on your Pentacles here. Focusing in on your uh, career goals and your financial goals here at this time here. Some of you guys are re definitely really enjoying being uh, on your own at this time. With the Hangman here. Yeah. <coughs> it seems like you guys are definitely kind of like just surrendering to life, you know, surrendering to the process here, just letting things unfold as it should. And I feel like this experience of letting go and, you know, just kind of going with the flows of life here, you know, I feel like this is, uh, has been very enlightening for you. You know, going with the flow doesn't mean that you don't do anything. It means that you set your intentions and put it, uh, put it out there in the universe and take action to do what you have to do in order to achieve your goals where the universe and your guys and your angels and your ancestors are supporting you of what you want here, okay? So we have the Ten of Swords here. Ten of Swords again. So you guys, seems like you guys are definitely working on letting go of a past betrayal that you went through here. This was like a double betrayal. Yeah, whoever this is. You know, it could be like one person that backstabbed you like multiple times here, or that you could have gone through multiple, uh, two relationships, back to back relationships where you've been betrayed by someone here. And I feel like what you're trying to do is heal from this, let go, and move on from this. We have the Fool card here Aries energy, Aquarius energy. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're getting into this place of being really comfortable on your own here and really loving it. And also, I feel like you guys are in this energy of definitely enjoying new experiences at this time here. So, you know, so I feel like you're not really dealing with anybody right now, but let's just see what we have here. Yeah, we have the world. So you're closing out a cycle here with the Fool and the World card here, and I feel like you're stepping into this like new version of yourself, or that you're stepping into this new beginning here with a Page of Wands here. Here he's a little Sagittarius energy. Tell me the Ten of Swords here, the Ten of Swords here, and the Nine of Cups. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like as you go through this process here, I feel like you guys have found a lot of happiness here. And I feel like a lot of you guys have worked on reconnecting with that wounded inner child here and doing the inner child work, inner, inner child work here. So I feel like, you know, I feel like what you've experienced regarding these past situations here, I feel like you were connecting dots and I feel like you're starting to see patterns here. And I feel like you're trying to break those patterns here, Pisces. With a hangman here and the moon, Cancer Pisces here. We have the Nine of Pentacles here and the Three of Cups. Yeah, it seems like you guys are definitely enjoying the single life here, going out there, meeting new people, hanging out with friends and stuff like that. You know, I also feel like you're definitely in this energy of really trusting your intuition here or really trusting the messages that you're getting in your 5D here because I feel like you guys are definitely really tapped in uh, because, you know, Pisces is a very, you know, um, uh, intuitive energy. Uh, yeah, I just feel like you're just really focusing on your healing at this time. I feel like you're not really dealing with anyone specific here. You could be meeting people uh, to go out and have drinks here with, to maybe have a fun time here with, but nothing serious, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. What else do we have here for Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know? Look out for work on for Pisces, for Pisces. For Pisces. So we have the High Priestess Cancer Pisces here. And the Eight of Cups. With a Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. 
I mean, there could be an indication that someone from your past could be coming back around to make you some sort of offer here. Someone here that walked away from you. It could be that you just know that this person's coming back around. Yeah, you have a sixth sense that this person's coming back around. Uh, someone here that betrayed you maybe multiple times here. You could have been dealing with someone here that uh, that was uh, really incredibly immature towards you here, uh, 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 Pisces. Um, let's see what else we have here with the Six of Swords here and the Lovers. Yeah, so what we have here is I feel like there is a situation. It's so interesting. I've done nine of these so far and a lot of past energies coming up. Keep in mind, uh, you know, we're, we're heading into Mercury retrograde. So a lot of past things do come up here <clears throat> when that happens. You know, not just past people, but past unresolved issues that you have with yourself, that you have with other people here, you know, will come up to the surface here. Anything that you've buried under the surface that you've never dealt with, never dealt with before, it'll, co it'll come up to the surface here. But I feel like, like I said, I, I feel like you might have a sixth sense that someone here is definitely coming back around. Yeah. But, you know, I feel like you moved on from the situation here where I feel like you definitely are in this energy of not being stuck on the past here or stuck on this individual and you're moving towards new love or out of love for yourself here okay with the eight of cups here with the eight of cups here and the ace of wands interesting some of you guys could be in this energy of really starting a new business here or that if you guys have started a business here or that this person has been this person business has been up and running for a while i feel like you guys are really really prosperous here and you could be expanding your business at this time here the page of pentacles here and the eight of swords okay seems like there is someone here that's been thinking about you coming and, and they're coming back around to make you some sort of offer here to have some sort of yeah someone from your past is definitely coming back here someone someone here has been stuck on you ha, ha, hasn't been able to move on from you and perhaps you have perhaps you do have that sixth sense of feeling uh what this pe person's feeling here okay with the ace of swords yeah they're definitely coming back around to speak with you here now this could also be an indication with the ace of swords here the decision that you made a long time ago to cut this person out this is your final decision this is a, this is a decision that you're sticking to here and you're not changing your mind here okay so the lovers here why is the lovers here and temperance here seems like a lot of you guys have found a lot of harmony a lot of balance here in your life at this time and i feel like you guys are definitely in this energy of really focusing on self-love at this time here and just really taking care of you and just continue the healing journey that you began here because i feel like you guys have a thirst for spiritual knowledge and wisdom here you guys have a thirst for healing here and i feel like you guys are definitely in this really great energy where i feel like you know this past person is definitely coming back but i feel like you're not gonna let this person you know, kind of like, you know, you're not going to let this person trigger you here, okay? So I feel like you're definitely in this very, very peaceful, this very zen-like energy. And this is a really great energy to be in. So, you know, if I, I feel like, you know, when this person does come back around, you're not even going to flinch. You're not even going to have a, like a major reaction. You're just going to be like, oh, you know? So Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.